music lovers, vinyl junkies, Uncle Rod is back with another video. A few things that have popped in to the, uh, turned up in the mail, mostly in the mail. Did get a quick visit to the record shop last week. Um, had to go to the dentist. Fortunately, it wasn't an expensive, too, a too expensive um, trip, so that was good. Um, although the guy in the record shop did say to me, uh, you're being very conservative today and then when I told him I was going to the dentist he understood anyway new LP just out by Gramsci this is Paul McClaney um, his project which kicked off back in the early 2000s very early 2000s I think from memory um, with a, with a um, couple of CDs from memory. I have one of those CDs, very, very good CD. This is the second record he's put out recently after like about a 16 year break between um, records. He did record an LP a few years ago with another guy on piano and him on vocals, which was really, really good. Um, I can't remember the name of the other person, but anyway, yeah, this is this is quite different from his earlier stuff. Um, these, t yeah, this album and the previous one, which came out a couple of years ago, um, they've got a pretty big commercial sound, very well recorded, very commercial sound to them. Um, yeah, I, um, I'm enjoying it. I, I, I did like the other one. I think it's a lot different from the earlier CD that he put out in the two, early 2000s. Um, but yeah, he's obviously getting quite prolific. I like, he's got a great singer. I, I do like his vocals. Um, and also, this just finally showed up um, from the shops up north. This has been on uh, pre-order for quite some time. There was quite a hold up with the vinyl. So this is um, Miley Manzana's um, volume two of the Crisis and Opportunity record. So the last, the one previous came out the early last year. God, I can't remember now, it's been a wee while. Um, yeah, this this is, did come out last year in 2021, but the, it's only the vinyl that just come out. I mean, it's actually, it's the 28th of February today, so officially the last day of summer. We have really have not had much of a summer at all. Um, it's actually probably been the wettest February on, I can remember, and certainly one of the coolest. But I had managed to get out and do some trekking in the hills, um, so that's been really cool. So this is uh, a jazz record. Um, I don't know much about this guy, I've got about three or four records of his now. This is recorded where? Oh, I don't know. I think it's recorded overseas. I don't, I don't think he's over living in here. I'm not sure what his connection to New Zealand is anymore. I mean, I'm not sure whether he his, his ethnicity is um, not known. Um, he's obviously not a, a European Pakeha like myself, or and I don't I don't think he's Maori either. So I'm not sure of his ethnicity. Um, and so I'm not sure what, how, how long he'd lived in New Zealand and what his connection is here, but he doesn't live here anymore, by belief. But it does get classed under New Zealand music. And then, finally, for the new releases, um, another one that's um, maybe in a little bit of the same vein as the Gramsci, this is another band who hadn't recorded anything, well, basically hadn't existed for... 35 plus years actually in this case um, so this is a new LP by a band called Vietnam uh, this is number 139 of a limited edition of 300 copies pressed on this completely clear vinyl now this is not a lathe cut I'm pretty sure it sounds pretty uh, quality wise it sounds pretty damn good and I wouldn't be lathe cut at 300 copies I don't think um, so Vietnam were a band, an, a, an alternative sort of indie type band from back in the early to mid 80s and they put out I believe from memory a single EP with kind of half a dozen tracks on it back in the day. Um, 
it was interesting because they reissued that those tracks and some additional tracks on an LP probably about four years ago now um, and I picked that up as a reissue and I didn't remember but I realised once I started listening to those tracks that I actually I'm pretty sure I had a copy of that original EP which is pretty hard to find now um, back in the 80s and so I was very very familiar with all of the songs I actually haven't had a decent listen to this yet, it's only just turned up last week and I've been away over the weekend up in the mountains and stuff and busy working and crap so I hadn't really had a decent listen to it but I did play it once and it definitely sounds like them. Um, some more Kiwi stuff that I've picked up, so in the, when I went to the record shop before my dentist appointment I, I had a quick squiz, I was there for about 30 minutes. Um, found another compilation to add to my collection of New Zealand compilations and I, I'd sort of forgotten about this one. I do, I mean I recognised the cover and then I looked at it and I thought, oh yeah that's a compilation, that's right. Um, it's actually a uh, JREM Records compilation from 1985. Um, I've got a couple of other the, of the JREM ones. Um, so they were, the, the JREM compilations from back then they were a, a bit of a mix of sort of commercial sounding music but some also some more slightly a different alternative stuff and they had some good tracks on them. I wouldn't say, I mean the Banana Republic releases was one of them. Uh, yeah I wouldn't say they're fantastic compilations to be honest um, but they do have some good tracks on. This is possibly I think the worst of the three of them that I've had, that I've got. I mean I, I, I recognise many of the names, I mean Circus Block 4, the Peking Man, the Pelicans, I've got a couple of Pelicans records or uh, myself. Step Chant Unit, which I just picked up their EP not that long ago, which I showed. Um, the Spines, which I really love. And uh, Vietnam, there's a Vietnam track on here. Um, so yeah, it's back from the day. A um, couple of names I don't know so well, uh, Fruitium Slips. And then there's a, a real anomaly at the end of Side 2, which is a track by Flesh Device, which really doesn't fit on this record very much at all. It's kind of a fairly thrashy punk song, whereas the rest of this, this is, there's some great bands on here, but to be honest, I think the selected tracks aren't the, not the best representation of those bands. I mean, the Spines, I think the Spines are fantastic, but I wasn't particularly blown away by that particular song um, and I don't remember the Vietnam one that well if I recognised it or not from the original I don't recall I've only listened to this the once um, so yeah it's it's good to have this I mean the the, well, the, the car crash their stuff's really hard to find um, that, there's quite a good song and I know that song really quite well but anyway to be honest um, it's a little bit disappointing that one but um, I'm glad to have it for my collection you know just you know, part of it completion in some ways I mean I'm I'm picking up as many of those compilations as I can and usually there are a couple of good three tracks on it and then this one here I, I was pleased to find it had been I'd been on my want list for quite some time Ivan Zagney and Don McClashin and Don's got a new album just on the way as a matter of fact it should be here tomorrow um, I got the, the, the um, email saying that it had sent it I was hoping it was going to show it today um, and I saw Don play live after lockdown last year I think it was or well, before the second lockdown God, the years ago so fast we're 22 aren't we not 21 he played most of the tracks off that new record and it was pretty impressive so looking forward to that um, so yeah this is a, a record that these two got to put together back in 1980 something doesn't say on the back it's um, mostly instrumental but there are some vocals I believe somewhere Kim Willoughby she's a vocalist I've only listened to it once it's it's quite alternative it's, it's something a little bit different from Don although he was involved in First Scratch what's that name? First Scratch? is that First Scratch? Um, the guys that when they, the guys that, which, who was still going who they, they play all the, the plastic pipes like the big pipe percussion thing so yeah Don's into, been into some different stuff so this is pretty cool but Don is uh, he's fantastic he is I mean he's been involved in so much stuff over the years and put out some absolutely great classic New Zealand music now I bought um, 
so those two records that I got that I showed the, the, the Vietnam and that pushed my flying out points up over the um, thousand point mark so I got $150 in credit to spend on records so um, I got online and had a look at some stuff that I'd been exploring on Tidal um, from people who had because people had been, had been posting these for quite some time and I I was aware of them, some of these things but hadn't ever really listened to them so I was having a bit of a play around on Tidal having a listen to some of them and I managed to pick up I still got one I couldn't get my hands on it's still being, straight away it's still on the way but I picked up these three for pretty much free um, so the first one is the OC's the the OCs, the the hounds on foggy notion. This is a reissue of uh, the now I believe this guy. These guys are quite prolific, eh? The um the discography is quite um is quite a lot. So they've been around since the early two thousands, I understand. And this is something like their third record. Um, so I don't know if this was one of the ones I'd listened to on title. I kind of just pushed random play through their um, back catalogue basically. This is very lo-fi but and it was really not what I was expecting. It was a little bit different. Or, or I don't know what I was expecting but it's definitely... Hmm. I, at first, because it, it was pretty lo-fi and on the hi-fi system here, and it's like, oh god, you know, but, um, as I got as I went into the record, I, yeah, I, I'm gonna grow. And, I'm gonna. This is gonna grow on me. I think it's gonna be really good. And you know, I might. I'll keep an eye out for some of their other stuff. And then two records here by the same band. Um, so this is my first LPs by Moon Duo, and of course I've seen a lot of their stuff posted online on Facebook by some of the groups. Um, so this is Occult Architecture Volume 1 um, on limited edition red marblish vinyl. Um, I mean, I don't know how limited edition, the fact that they were still available because um, these records were released a few years ago originally. I don't know if they're reissued or what. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying these. These are great records and they... I, I Man, these guys... I think they really must have listened to a bit of Suicide earlier on. Um, I get a bit of that from, um, you know, with um, Martin Mother, Martin Rev, Rev and Alan Vega. I get a feeling of that, and but also of Stereo Lab perhaps as well. Um, so yeah, really, I'm really impressed with that. So I've got that, and then I've got Volume 2 as well. And the Volume 2 is on this lovely light blue, very light blue. probably another word for that colour but I can't tell you what it is um, so yeah this is the, these, so these are quite cool um, records, I'm really quite impressed with them and so that is my lot for this video um, so yeah I'm not buying a lot at the moment I have got a couple more coming on back order that I just mentioned, I think the Don McGlashan one is the last of my back orders and then the when I bought these ones, I bought another record, which I won't tell you what it is just yet, but um, that's winging its way to me, hopefully in the next week or two. But really, that's it for now. Um, I'm getting back out in the hills and tramping a bit, so that's taking up a little bit of my attention. Um, so anyway, hope you enjoyed those records, and we will see you again next time. Cheers, mate.